I'm a nerd. And I'm almost 27. You know, there was a time in my life where I was a nerd and this wasn't okay. Like, I've been a nerd pretty much since I have had thoughts that I can remember. Oh, sci-fi? Great. Video games? Excellent. Give me that Nintendo, you know? So I've always been a nerd. It's just part and parcel of who I am. And for a good while in my life, the early years, you know, about 10 and so, being a nerd wasn't okay. It wasn't the thing that it is now where technology is so ubiquitous that, you know, if you can use technology, you're one of the cool kids. You can use a smartphone. Everybody has a smartphone. That's a high-tech gadget. I tell you, a decade ago, a decade and a half ago, you'd have been made fun of for having something like that. You'd have been called a nerd, and it would have been meant derisively. It would have been meant as an insult to you. You're a nerd. This is a bad thing. And this is no longer true. It blows my mind sometimes when I think about culture and how it's changed over the years since I was a kid, where gamers were this rare outcast group off in the corner, and people were unsure of them, and they were off to the side. Tabletop gamers? Well, they got even worse than the regular nerds. They were called Satanists because they were different. Because they did a hobby people didn't really get in. But, as I said, this has all changed. This has all changed since I was a kid, and that's amazing. Culture has evolved since I was a kid. I have witnessed culture change, and to me that's phenomenal. It's fantastic. I have seen the evolution of ideas in a cultural level from where being a gamer was this reviled thing where you were an outcast and people didn't talk to you to where everyone's a gamer now. Pa people's parents who are like 50 and 60 are playing Angry Birds on their smartphones. Everyone's a gamer. It blows my mind and it should blow other people's minds, especially if you have the memory to reach back and think about the times where being a nerd wasn't like it is now. Where, no joke, you could be playing Pokemon with your, you know, have your Game Boy out in school way back when, and someone slapped that thing out of your hands. Fucking nerd. Why aren't you looking at sports? Why aren't you chasing chicks? Why aren't you doing blah, 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 anything else? Play outside, damn it, you know? But now, but now, who doesn't have a PS3 or an Xbox or a Wii? Who, you know, people's parents are playing Wii Bowling. People's grandparents are playing Wii Bowling. Everyone's become a gamer. Everyone's become a nerd. Computers? Two decades ago, or more, 5% of this nation had computers. That's it. Just over two decades ago. I remember Windows 3.1 getting a $1,200 computer my parents got, and we played around with it before the internet. And that was weird. We had a computer for our home. Those were things people had for businesses. What were you doing with a computer in your house? personal computer. Yes, this was once a thing where people thought, a personal computer? Who would need that? That's for businesses. But look how it's changed. Look now at how ubiquitous technology and the nerd has become. The Geek Squad? It's a thing that exists to repair computers. They're called the Geek Squad, and this is meant entirely in a positive manner. That would never have happened a decade ago. Never. You wouldn't have had this sort of almost hero worship for the IT department that exists now where people who work technology are magicians. They do magic, right, to the regular people. You can fix my computer? Holy crap, you're a genius. At one point, it was the ubiquitous thing that every group of friends had the car guy, right? You know, there's a guy who was working on cars and he knew cars or some hobby like that. Now, in today's world, there's the computer kid. Every group has a computer kid now. Every group has a computer kit, if not more than one, if not whole groups of people just together around the central idea of the computer. And let's not even mention what the internet has done for the nerds out there. Well, let's mention it. Because that has been the single greatest revolution for the nerd culture that has ever happened. Period. End of that discussion. It is the single greatest revolution. Nerds could stop being the outcasts and get together. I mean, that applies for everyone with the internet, right? Anyone who's anything can find a group of people on the internet that shares their philosophy, their fetish, or whatever in between. But for nerds, for many nerds at least, this was the first real gathering of fellow people like them. 
where they could talk to these people and say, I love computers, I love video games, and not be laughed at or derided, but have a whole group of people sit there and say, yeah, so do we. We get you. And for those people out there who've never really had that unpopular run in their lives, that's important. You might take for granted that people just accept what you do and who you are if you like the popular things, but if you, if you heaven help you, were reading a Lord of the Rings book in high school or especially middle school during my time as a younger kid, heaven help you. Your reputation was gone. That's it. You're now derided. You're one of those outcast kids. You're reading Tolkien. Fucking nerd. And now look at it. For the younger kids, this may even come off as alien to you. At this point, being a nerd is a positive thing, and I am all in favor of this, and don't misconstrue what I'm saying here as a get-off-my-lawn style rant about kids these days have it easy. That's not the point. I'm talking about this as a positive thing. I, and anyone else in this group who knows what I'm talking about, has seen a complete reversal in society on their attitude towards our culture. And it's been in such a short time that it's amazing. Cultural revolutions like that don't happen too often. And we should count ourselves fortunate and lucky to have been a part of it and to now be where we are as a group that is not derided. That we are now a group that is lauded for our skills with technology, that is lauded for our abilities instead of derided. That is amazing and it's something that we should all take a moment to think about. And more than think about, just be amazed for a moment at how you can sit there and say, I'm a computer guy, I'm a nerd, and that's good. Just something to think about.